Hey everyone, I'm Bob Downey, Elite Series Angler, and I use the Palomar knot still quite a bit these days. It seems like a lot of people don't like it for fluorocarbon, and I still use it pretty much exclusively and just want to go over a couple tips to make sure you get it right. There's a few different things that I do just to make sure that this thing isn't crossing over and it's not really burning. We'll get started here with just go through and then back and make your loop. And here's kind of step number one is you want to make sure that these lines are not crossed here in the middle. If they're crossed, they're going to bind on each other when you set that hook and that's what causes it to break. So number one, make sure they're not crossed. Make your loop. Pull your hook through that loop as you normally would. And then step number two that's super important is you obviously, you gotta wet this knot, otherwise when you tighten it down, there's the friction's gonna create heat and it'll weaken it. But instead of just putting a little bit of spit on there, I literally will tighten it down in my mouth to make sure that it's as wet as possible and that it creates no friction. So you tighten it down and then you're gonna have a little bit of a loop left over that you need to pull tight. Instead of pulling it tight on my main line, I always make sure I pull it tight on this tag end line because when you pull it tight, that final little bit, there tends to be a little bit of friction there that can create that line to burn. And if any of it burns, I want it to be on this tag end and not towards my main line. So when you tighten it down, that's your final step. And then to check it, to make sure that you got it right, you wanna make sure that those two lines are right next to each other. So if they're crossed, you gotta cut it and redo it. And if you ever tighten this down and you got a little bit of a curl on your main line here, you know that that burned a little bit when you tighten it down because of the friction. You should always make sure you retie it if you ever got a little bit of a curl here. It should be very straight and it should look as though there was no friction that created any sort of burn there. So those are just a few little tips, you guys. It's pretty, you know, standard, simple knot. Um, one that a lot of people tie, but one that's easily tied wrong, which creates a lot of issues with fluorocarbon. So if you, if you incorporate those few tips, you should be good to go and shouldn't have any issues with this knot.